Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at the Golden Disc Collection starring Puffer, Road Ranger, and of course their guy that they're inspired from, Huffer. So if we start off with Puff Daddy here, because Puffer does retain Huffer's original thing with being able to haul Optimus Prime's trailer, you can either have him do it, or you can swap him out for a sick and nasty red and black version. So I have actually always liked the Huffer mold, especially because it was orange and that just speaks to me extremely well. So the one thing with Road Ranger is anytime you paint a transformer black and then add other accents that kind of contrast nicely to it, it looks really good. So this guy actually has a lot of silvers, especially on the gun and all that sort of stuff. And I think that just, I don't know why, I think that color scheme, it just ties together so very well and I mean really the same could be said for this because blue is the dynamic color opposite of orange yet it still looks really good and I think that using it on the pipes mold if you don't get pipes and you just get this guy I think it would be a good enough replacement for him but the one thing that I do want to go ahead and mention and this is for all three of these guys is that back here you see these little little tabs they're actually supposed to go in there when you do that and you actually you can actually hear it click it actually hops up the deals and like I said even on you know Huffer this was an original thing so to actually make it somewhat level with the front wheel you have to untab it so that when you're you know you can actually uh, like when you're hauling off Simmons's trailer or whatever it actually looks right you don't have like one half the cab real hopped up but if you guys wanted to see how they looked and scaled with other members from the Golden Disc Collection, well here they are with Jackpot. And of course with these guys being based on the Minibots, I don't think a truck this size, even though they are generally small, I don't think they would be this scale with somebody like Jackpot. I think they'd be just a tad bit bigger. So what? Your Transformers aren't in scale. Have you guys seen Generation 1? Oh, we have the twin sons of Cybertron. I gotta say that, honestly, I'm looking at the head sculpt of Huffer and Road Ranger, and no joke, guys, when you look at it, really, the it is the Huffer head mold. All they did was give it a visor and a mouth plate. Aside from the head, really it's identical to Huffer, even the chest design, even down to the crotch. Now, my guy actually does have a little bit of a defect, I don't know if you can pick it up there, but in his right eye, or where his right eye would be, the paint has actually flaked off, and it kind of looks like his visor maybe got broken and his optic is peering out from behind him, but from what I'm actually seeing, it looks pretty cool. Then when we start to look at our boy Puffer over here, I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the dual wielding pipes mold just a little bit better, um, just because of the guns. Plus this, just the colors of it are very beachcomber, and that's kind of something I dig. So, just like Walker shares Huffer's head design, as you guys can see, here's the image of Puffer's head, or I'm sorry, there's Puffer, with pipes head and you can see clearly like I said before it's the pipes mold with the remolded chest and everything else which looks pretty sick. So if you want to put these guys in a pretty sick looking battle they will look awesome whenever they're combating the evil forces of the Decepticons but in this particular instance guys their odds do not look good because they are outmatched not only in size but I mean come on you have crazy G2 Megatron with this Mega Blast over here so the odds are not looking good right now however these guys are doing their best and looking as good as well you'd hope they would so guys I think we can all agree that Generation Selects has given us some real gifts especially when it comes to the weird ones because much like BotCon used to do this is now affording us the chance to get these guys that we didn't know we wanted and it's awesome because it's at a much more reasonable price. They're just slightly more than the average figure that their mold is based off of. So I think I'm down with that. 
However, Puffer and Road Ranger uh, for a fused version of two G1 characters and a GoBot that has inherited a Transformer design, they're actually really cool in their own right. And I think this is a mold that we probably can also agree that will probably age very well as time marches on with the, the Transformer fandom and such. So anyway guys, that's all I really had to show you about these two. So until next time, we'll see you in another review.